Welcome to Sony's Bluetooth series. In our episodes, we introduce Bluetooth, pairing procedures, explain NFC technology, and suggest some essential troubleshooting tips. In this episode, we will go over some Bluetooth troubleshooting tips and tricks that will turn you into a Bluetooth master. Despite its handy ability to connect devices, there are some Bluetooth limitations to take into consideration. A good rule of thumb is to view your Bluetooth connection as an invisible cord of about 10 meters. Beyond that, you will experience noise and sound disturbances until you stray too far and inevitably cut the connection. It's good to remember that the 10 meter indication discounts obstacles. Metal objects, thick concrete walls or beams and other wave emitting devices will decrease the distance. You should pair devices when they're sufficiently charged. If not, you might not be able to establish pairing. Charge and you're good to go. Most smartphones can hold up to 8 devices worth of pairing information. If you exceed that number, your phone will automatically delete the oldest pairing information. You can choose to delete Bluetooth pairing information in the Bluetooth menu of your phone or computer. So you're trying to pair Bluetooth devices and something's amiss. You might be unable to detect your device, you might be unable to hear sound while your certain Bluetooth is set up. Here are a few tricks to try. Confirm if the right device is connected. You might have Bluetooth products around. Be sure the right two devices are connected. Once they've exchanged pairing information, Bluetooth devices will automatically connect when turned on. While you're expecting your wireless speaker or soundbar to blast music secretly, your headphones could be playing your favorite tracks. Turn Bluetooth off and on again. A very easy but effective trick. If you're trying to pair devices and you can't find the device you want in your Bluetooth menu list, try turning Bluetooth off and on again. This works for both computer and smartphone. Every day, more Bluetooth devices are being introduced in our lives, so your smartphone might pick up a lot of surrounding devices that contaminate your list. Using NFC could also be an alternative course of action, if available. Restart both devices. In the first episode of this series, we explained exchanging pairing information is like establishing a friendship. Sometimes people start off on the wrong foot. Maybe your devices started off on the wrong foot too. Try to turn off and restart both devices and try again. While it may sound redundant, the solution actually will resolve the vast majority of pairing and connection issues. Reset, initialize your Bluetooth device. Headphones, soundbars, wireless speakers and other products have a reset function, which you can find explained in the help guide or instruction manual. You can consult these on the product page of the Sony support website. Every manual contains a separate section of resetting and initializing. Try reset first, then initialize. Initializing will restore factory conditions, so your device will automatically go into pairing mode once it's powered on. This is a bit of a last resort, but it's a very effective one. Start fresh. So you have successfully paired your headphones or speaker with your computer and your device is registered in the Bluetooth device list, but the connection isn't happening. Make sure you go into the Bluetooth list and press connect to make the Bluetooth connection active. Smartphones have a tendency to automatically connect, computers don't always. Choose the right playback device. Your computer has different options to output sound, speakers, USB headphones, etc. Right-click the sound icon in the taskbar, visit the playback device menu and select your preferred playback device. Also, be mindful that some programs and applications have a dedicated setting for the playback device, which can overrule your computer setting. If your computer is not picking up your Sony product, you might not be running the latest Bluetooth drivers. A driver is a software component that lets the operating system and a device communicate with each other. If it's not up to date, it might not pick up some Bluetooth devices. Your computer manufacturer develops these drivers, so you can find the latest drivers on the support website of your computer manufacturer. After installing them, retry the pairing procedure.